Good afternoon, you great people. Welcome to today's video. We are here making our way to the MCG for the grand final video. This game is set to be a massive clash between the Cats and the Swans. Only one team can win it today and hopefully we obviously know which one we prefer. But making our way to the G is set to be a big clash. Make sure before we get into today's video that you like the video, subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. We're in for a good one today as Cats fans. Make sure you stick around for the rest of the vlog, it's going to be sweet. Some pre-game entertainment uh, with Robbie Williams performing and Delta Goodrim. It's set to be a really big game today. Hopefully the Cats can obviously get over the line. If you did catch my last video, you would have seen my prediction scoreline. But in case not, I will repeat it. I do think the Cats should get over the line by 22 today. I've got Jeremy Cameron for the first goal of the match. And I've got Cam Guthrie 
for the norm. Hopefully it's a good one, Cats fans, and hopefully we get the win. There's about a few minutes left until the game is underway. We're really about to get into it now. Come on, cats. This is the time for us to lift. All year has been down to this moment. This opportunity. We may not be back here for years and years to come. Let's take it now, cats, and take it with both hands. From a very, very tight angle, he's probably about 40 out on a very acute angle. It's going to take a massive kick from Tom Hawkins. 
This would be for potentially the first goal of the match. Lineup is looking Come on, all right. Come on, Come on, Nah, not quite. First shot of the Get match. Up. Yes. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Kicks the first goal for the match, up 7-0. to zero. We're playing pretty well so far. Not perfect, we've made some errors, but we're looking all right. Let's see if we can keep this pressure up. Second goal there from Tommy. He's got two on the board now and he's looking really good today. I think he's set to have a great day if he keeps up this form. Up 13 to zip still in the first quarter. Looking good, Cats. Let's keep it going. Sydney get a response. They get a goal back in that one. The score now goes to 13 to 6. A bit of an error there, a bit sloppy in defense, not really pushing back hard enough. And well, they got a goal out of nothing really. Need to clean that up going to the rest of this quarter. So we got Mark Blitzarves lining up for goal after a great contested mark there. He's going to opt to go for the snap. He's not really far out. It's on a slight angle, but should nail this. Blitzars responds with a third goal for the Cats and we're looking like the pressure is on. In fact, as I speak, we're about to get another inside 50. It's a hot pass pass and we're on the Holmes, massive tackle there, probably goal saving tackle.
We get our fifth goal in a matter of minutes. We are up 31 to 6 and it is only quarter time. Come on Cats, let's keep this aggression going. Let's go! Brad Close has taken a mark inside the Ford 50 from another relatively tight angle. Brad Close lining up for the goal here. It's going to be a bit of a tough kick, but he is capable of nailing these ones. himself up about 45 from home and he's, oh, he's hit the post. Bit unlucky there Jezza. Bit unlucky mate. time here at the MCG for the grand final and we are up by a staggering margin we are coming out here with absolute authority we look like we're ready to play we look like we're ready to go absolutely dominating the game so far you see the game is still in the balance anything can happen obviously the cat fans are feeling pretty good about it so far couldn't have asked for a much better start let's just keep it going let's see how far we can take this and see if we can continue it on for the next week Right on 50, not going to be the easiest kick to nail, but it isn't necessarily out of his reach. We'll see if he can nail this one as he does his little walk up. He's looking pretty good off his line. has taken a mark just right after we have kicked the goal from Stengel. Gary Rowan's going to try and have a go at snabbing Geelong's eighth goal for the match. Pretty early on, six minutes into the second quarter and he's, he's made an absolute meal out of that one. Missed not the entire lot, but gets through for a minor score. Sydney have nailed another goal, that's their second for the match. Just a bit of an unfortunate error up towards the 50 get caught for high contact and they get a 50 50 mark inside the goal square with the one hand mind you so a bit unfortunate to let that one through but let's hope we can get it back and get a few more back Hawkins has gotten a free kick inside the forward 50 after a marking contest honestly it was probably a bit 50 50 but I guess it's there to pay it We'll take it regardless though, and you'll have a shot from about, I think it's about 45, 40 on a tight angle. We seem to be getting a lot of these set shots on tight angles, but we've nailed a decent amount of them. And Hawkins is going to be lining up for potential Cats number 8 on the day. His lineup looks good. And it's going to be the As you would have just seen. Tom Hawkins no, does no, nail no. the goal, and that's goal number eight for Geelong. Up 55 to 13, about halfway through the second quarter. We are doing fantastic. Let's keep this up, Cats. We're doing great. We're doing absolutely awesome right now. So Callum Mills is going to take a shot for Sydney. And he has nailed the goal, unfortunately. 
putting Sydney up to their third goal for the match. Sydney do get their third goal there, as you would have just seen. Uh, a bit disappointing to be going back and forward like that. But you know what? We're doing pretty well so far, so not panic stations just yet. But we do need to make sure that we don't allow Sydney to get a few of these goals to build momentum. We need to shut them out of it and to try and keep piling on the goals if possible. I said Stangle has taken another mark inside the forward 50. He's got a bit of a journey to go to get it though. He did kick a goal from a similar angle and distance not long ago though. So the routine, if it's pretty much the same, should be the same result. His approach looks pretty good. How does it come off the boot? Gonna have a shot for goal number 10 for the Cats. Alright, so we got Dylan Stevens lining up for goal potential number four for the Swans right now. A bit of an error there to give it up. But he's actually shanked it really horribly there. In fact, it's not even a score. He's missed the whole lot. So Isaac Heaney will get another shot for the Swans. On to goal from about 50. 45 out for the Swans to try and get their fourth goal. And he... He's nailed it. Bit unfortunate there, Cats fans. We don't really want to see them get a few goals here. We want to kind of keep them out of the match if possible. But that is the Swans' fourth goal for the match. Hopefully we can get one back. Cats fans, half time here at the MCG. Up by about six goals at the moment and we are playing pretty well. We let a few slip there in the end, which was a bit disappointing. Could have had a much bigger margin, but you know what? Overall, kicked about three each in that quarter, so it was a pretty competitive quarter. Having a six goal buffer sounds pretty nice going into the half. One more half to go. Let's see if we can try and finish this off strong. Go Cats, come on, go Cats, come on. Duncan gets us our 10th goal for the match after a brilliant tackle inside virtually almost our goal square. Earned us a really tough goal there. Really good start to this half. Let's see if we can get another one. We have taken our mark inside the 50 after Sydney get possession of it in about this pocket. Go 
Post, straight though to Brad Post, as you can see here on the replay. So Brad Post getting a clutch intercept mark and will have a chance to take a shot. He's going to be going for a snap. as you can see lining up for a shot after he gets holding the ball into his favor and he's going to be opting to go for a snap and then easy as you like absolute shocking attempt there from Jezza Lucy with the one percent as we got to see it well done well done to Brad Close Tyson Stangle has a chance to add to another goal for what has been an absolute barrage of goals today. John kicking 14 for the match. Stangle going to be going for goal number 15. He's going to be opting to go for a snap. So it should be with relative success. fans third quarter time here at the MCG we have taken a massive massive lead 74 points can't believe it Cats fans we have absolutely smashed and dominated that quarter absolute relentless going forward with the pressure we're doing exactly what I mentioned in the previous video make them chase the game making them chase the game tiring them out forcing them to make the errors and then we go ahead and punish we're doing fantastic cats. There is still a quarter to go. I don't want to say it's necessarily safe for certain, but we are in a fantastic spot. And if we keep playing the way we've been playing, we should seal this one out. 74 points at three quarter time. I think we've got it cats fans. I'll see you in one last quarter. up for Sydney's goal number five. See if he nails this one. It's online and it's through. Sydney do eventually get one goal back there to get their fifth goal for the match but it's probably a case of too little too late you would think. Geelong still having a massive massive lead of close to 70 points. The game should be sealed out from here. We just got to make sure we keep playing keeping the ball safe, moving it around, and it should be a job well done. Come on, Danger. Come on, Danger, you gotta get it, ball. Jasny gets onto the end of that, stopping a potential goal for this once. We are playing with absolute determination today. We are on a mission. No joke. I said the capacity would be 100,026. I was told. Wow. 100k here at the G. Witnessing a demolition from the Nuts. Absolute sense. Absolute sense. Uh, it's quite offline. In fact, it's not even going to go through for a score. We've got a second chance at it though. Close. Yeah! 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 Muffet's got goal number 17 for the Cats. Muffet has kicked the goal to make it goal number 17 for the Cats. The Super Sub has come.
coming. I'm not really sure who he came in for, but good stuff there from the Cats. Still attacking despite the massive lead we already have. Adding on to it, we are doing fantastic to the Swans. Do get a six goal there for the match after a 50-50 contest in the goal square. Bit of a lack, lost the goal there, considering it's a bit of a pity. But you know what? The Cats are playing really well. I'm pretty sure the game is over at this point, so we should have another Premiership to our tally. Not really sure what happened there, we were a bit busy celebrating, but Sydney get another goal back, so that's the seventh goal for the match. But at this point, I don't think it really matters. There's, there's about 21 minutes played into this last quarter. There should be about, you would think, six to seven minutes left, maybe even less, and the game should be over at this point. So the Premiership should be ours. Guys, the game has not finished yet, but the game should be all but about over. About four minutes left into the match, and we should be there with the Premiership. Yeah! Let's go! So as you can see, Joel Selwood gets the captain's goal. And with that, we salute as we have gotten another Premiership with Joel Selwyn in the captain seat. Well done, Joel. Well done, Cats. So you've got Jeremy Cameron now who has taken a mark and will have an attempt at goal number 20. Proud chance of Selwood.
much for following me on this journey uh despite it being a short journey hopefully i can get in a full season of vlogging and other content like that uh come 2023 uh but for now we are the premieres of 22 uh, it still hasn't really sunk with me just yet that we've actually won the premiership considering that since 2012 there's been numerous times where we've been so close yet so far uh you know we've been called the the freaking choke artists of the finals and you know dominant home and away season team but you know come finals we just don't show up but this year we showed up this year we got it done we got the win and we did it in dominating fashion uh the feeling i think i'm feeling right now is justified 
Just like I said last week against Brisbane, it's the same feeling after the win. It's justified. Because, again, like I said, we were the best team for, like, most of the season. You know, those first, like, eight or nine rounds were kind of sketch. Like, we were just trying to get that new game plan to come together. And from round 10 onwards, we just haven't looked back. You know, so 16 wins in a row uh, is a fantastic effort. And I'm glad that we got it done with a premiership in the end. So that's about it. That's the last vlog for the year. Um, at least match day vlogs. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, I know it was a long one. But if you did stick around or if you did try to watch it as most of it as you can. Or if you had to listen to it in the background. Whatever you did with it. Please drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video, especially once we start to get into probably the other content, the off-season content that I'll probably try and whip together, uh, which will be a bit of like draft news, trade rumors, uh, free agency, uh, maybe looking at some of the VFL talent uh, in our system that we have to maybe go into our uh, main squad going to next year and all little bits and pieces there. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day or night, whatever time it is that you're currently watching this. And I will see you in the next one. Bring on 2023. Back to back.